Hey, I'm Anwen and welcome to Emerald Co. Decoded. Now in Emerald Code, Simone and all her friends really like the idea of robots you can create to help you with all kinds of daily tasks. But as they figure out, it's not always easy to get them to do quite what you want. But Josh from Ottawa, oh, he's got it all figured out. Check it out. 10 students from across Canada achieving greatness in science, technology, engineering, and math. This is Emerald Code Decoded. Hi, I'm Joshua Balash, I'm from Ottawa, Ontario, and I built a project called the Follower Robot. Like pretty much any little kid, I had a love of wanting to build a robot since I was little. And so when I finally was given the chance to build a project in grade eight, I just decided, well, I'm last year at the school, why not? And so I'd recently come back from a trip with my grandmother. It was really tricky for her to carry large packages around, so she didn't enjoy shopping. I'd been thinking of that, and so I just decided, well, I have to have a purpose for my robot. I built the robot to be able to follow people around on its own, as well as carry stuff for them. So the way the robot works is whoever wants to control it would hold this little device here, which emits an infrared light, which can be picked up on these little sensors here. So the way the robot can actually turn and follow a person is, say the light is being picked up by this light source here. If it's picked up by these two front ones, it'll only turn a slight amount in the direction. This means it's almost pointing right at it, but if it's picked up on these two sources here, then it knows that it's going to have to turn a bit or else it'll start to lose the signal. This robot actually gave me a lot of different opportunities, so I've taken it all over the place. So one of the biggest experiences I had was I got invited to take it to Parliament Hill. I got a bunch of strange looks from the security people, including one, one of the guards was continuously following my robot, so that was really interesting. What was it like to go to the Canada-wide science fair? Nationals was incredible. I have to say, that's one memory I'm never going to forget. Just going there, you'd see all these young minds, kids my age, even younger, and they'd have projects that were incredible, like working on medical research, artificial intelligence, people working on innovation that maybe we'll even see in the next five, ten years, maybe commonplace, that were created by a little kid maybe 14, 15 years old. Want to see more awesome projects from kids just like you? Go to emeraldcode.ca to check out all kinds of awesome ideas that are becoming reality.